In this video, we will learn how to prove that a joint of AB is equal to a joint of B times a joint of A. Let's suppose that we have two matrices A and B. And how can we prove that a joint of product of AB is equal to a joint of matrix B times a joint of matrix A? So the proof is very simple. So we can start from AB inverse is equal to a joint of AB divided by determinant of AB. So this is the very general formula which we use to find the inverse of any given matrix. So AB is also a matrix in itself. So to, to clarify this, I can write A inverse is equal to a joint of matrix A divided by determinant of matrix A. So in the same way I can write this formula. So Inverse of matrix AB is equal to a joint of AB divided by determinant of AB. So from here I can write a joint of AB is equal to determinant of AB times AB inverse. Now we have a property which is determinant of AB is equal to determinant of A times determinant of B. So I will replace this determinant of AB by determinant of A times determinant of B. And we also have another property which is AB inverse is equal to B inverse times A inverse. So I will replace AB inverse by B inverse dot A inverse which is B inverse times A inverse. From here I can write determinant of A times determinant of B. Now I can just replace this B inverse and A inverse by the formula. So we know that B inverse is equal to a joint of B divided by determinant of A and A inverse is equal to a joint of A divided by determinant sorry it should be B here a joint of B divided by determinant of B and A inverse is equal to a joint of A divided by determinant of A. So I'll just replace this B inverse and A inverse by their formula. So I will write B inverse can be replaced by this thing. So it's a joint of B divided by determinant of B. And A inverse can be replaced by a joint of A divided by determinant of A. So I can cancel this determinant of A with this determinant of A and this determinant of B with determinant of B and the result is a joint of B times a joint of A. And this is what we wanted to prove that a joint of AB is equal to a joint of B times a joint of A. So in the next video I will be proving how a joint of K A is equal to K raised to power n minus 1 times a joint of A. So I hope you learned something from this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.